Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Got a quick overview video for you today of a new brand that you're probably not familiar with. I wasn't really familiar with it until I was sent this watch uh, on loan to the channel to take a look at it. It's from this brand called Holgar. Uh, this company was founded very recently in 2021 actually. And it was founded by a man who worked previously in some top luxury brands. And it is a Swiss made watch company. And here is one of their watches right here. And this is the watch that I was sent to take a quick look at it. Um, they call this a sport model in their lineup. And some of my first impressions about this piece is that it's handsome for sure. I think it's a cool looking piece. I like the uniqueness of the case shape and design. That's something that I was drawn to immediately. Not something that you see every day with the shape of those lugs and these kind of cut out portions around the, the bezel of the watch. Um, I was also drawn to the texture of the dial. Another thing that uh, caught my eye as soon as I opened this watch. Um, and then another thing that I noticed just first impressions was that it is on the larger size and we'll talk about some dimensions here in a second, but it is a 44 millimeter case diameter watch. But again, these are Swiss made timepieces and they're using Solita movements here. One unique thing about this company that they emphasize is that they use 904 L stainless steel. So that is another unique feature. Um, which is seen in watches from Rolex and of course other companies use that steel. It's supposed to be better and and be more uh, corrosion resistant and so a little higher quality stainless steel than the typical 316L. Um, something else about this brand is that they say that each watch that they produce is limited to 100 pieces per model. So they have multiple models on their website for men and women but supposedly each model is only, uh, they'll only make 100 pieces. So pretty neat. Um, but let's go into some quick specs about this watch right here. Again, this one they call the black and gold sport automatic. They have chronographs on their website. They have some uh, with Roman numeral indices as well. Um, but here is a quick look at the watch. You get sapphire crystal on both sides, front and back. So you see the exhibition case back there and some of the information that is written. Salita SW200, 100 meters of water resistance here. Uh, the crown is signed with an H. Um, it is just a push-pull crown, so no screw down crown. And the diameter here, as I measured it, came in to be 44 0.3 millimeters from the 4 to 10 o'clock position on this watch. The thickness came in to be about 11.2 millimeters. The lug to lug distance was 52.9, so a little bit larger lug to lug, and the lug width was 22 millimeters. I like the strap that they put on this watch as well. It kind of matches the textured dial nicely. It is a hybrid strap, so this top portion is some sort of leather and it's textured and has some nice stitching there in white. And then on the underside, it is a genuine leather, as you can see. Nice deployant buckle here, makes it very comfortable to wear. I'm going to give you a wrist shot right now because I did find out that unfortunately, even on the last hole, of this watch it was still a little bit big for my six and a half inch wrists um, so that's something to take note of and you can see that 44 millimeter case on my smaller size wrists um, the lug to lug distance is really uh, what gets me here i don't think i could wear this watch because i feel like the lugs are overhanging my wrist and I just don't think that looks good and 
it's not comfortable to me and then I think it also makes the strap look funny on the watch the way it sits between the lugs when it hangs down like that but if you have bigger wrists um, I think it would look good because it would sit more like this on your wrist rather than like that if you know what I'm saying and so I was on the last hole so if you have smaller wrists um, might be a little uncomfortable for you and might be a little loose uh, regarding the strap just something to take note of but uh, overall I think this is a pretty good looking piece it's a high quality piece uh, the price on this watch right here is 1695 US dollars and I'll leave links to their website down in the descriptions in the description below um, my likes with this watch are uh, first of all the quality it is definitely quality made the polishing and the brushing on the watch as you can see uh, is very well done just ignore any fingerprints that you might see there I like that it's a Swiss made movement with that Salita movement and I think it's a good looking watch overall it's something uh, with the case design that you probably won't see anywhere else and um, I do like that textured dial as well you got some rose gold hands everything is nicely done boxed out uh, date window at the six o'clock as well and um, applied indices all looking pretty good so those are some things that I like about the watch and almost forgot that there is loom here so I'm going to charge it up a little bit check the loom and then after that I'll talk about some of the dislikes uh, that I find here all right there's a quick shot of the loom you can see um, that's actually glowing quite nicely for a watch that I would say is on the dressier side so it's nice to have some loom there so you can read your watch at night I'm not sure exactly what loom they're using but I assume that it's a Swiss super luminova of some kind all right so I already mentioned some of the things that I like about this watch there are a few things that I dislike I'll just mention really quickly um, this crown um, I think that H that is there is very very generic looking and I feel like uh, they could do something a lot better than that um, so it just kind of looks a little bit cheap to me uh, I already mentioned the strap not fitting my smaller wrist so that is also a negative and then I also mentioned how it looks when it sits on my wrist with the strap how those lugs kind of protrude like that looks a lot better if the watch can sit like that on your wrist so that is also a negative for me I'd like to see this company may maybe make some smaller watches um, maybe if uh, you know you have smaller wrists and you're a man maybe some of the ladies watches from them might suit you better I'm not sure what the sizes are there but uh, I would like to see them make some men's watches in some smaller sizes as well and then I think you know this watch is a little bit pricey for what you have here in my opinion almost seventeen hundred dollars one thousand six hundred ninety five dollars um, that is not a cheap watch by any means and there are a lot of watches that you could buy with that kind of money so that's something to take into consideration as well but like I said definitely feels like a high quality well made Swiss piece so I encourage you to check out Holgar watches if you haven't heard of them not familiar with them do take a peek at their website and take a look and see if there's anything you might like from them and let me know what you think of this watch right here in particular uh, do you like it do you not like it tell me all about what you think about it down in the comments below please like this video if you like it we really appreciate it and thank you so much for stopping by to the town watch we'll see you next time